This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. The mail has come in, and this time it's Deathmark, published by Access Games and created by Experience. Yeah, is it Halloween already? Although I'm not sure when I'm going to put this up, if I actually am going to put in on October or not, because I've already got... By the time I'm playing this, I've already finished the previous game I had, which was that long-ass VN novel that I did. Oh, God. Needed something to cleanse my palate. What more than to do a horror game, right? But, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to record... Uh, like, because if I do it in October, I'll have to add the videos at the same time as the VN, so that might be a bit confusing, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I have no idea what this game is about. I've done very little research on it, which I usually don't do anyway. But I saw it. I was like, "Yeah, let's uh, put it in the let's put it in the queue and see what happens." I've I think I've heard it's like I think it's got some exploration. While I think it's also supposed to be VNish too. I think I could be wrong, but. So I hope it's not straight VN again, otherwise I might murder someone, so we'll find out. Um, okay, so what do we have in our options? I haven't really checked anything. Let's see. That's the share button. Yeah, we're not doing that. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, it just it just starts, so there's really no like like um there's no like tutorial. It's like it might have VN qualities because Triangle does hide it, which is what uh, our world is into did as well, so oh well. Uh, two girls talking, so let's go from there. Hey, want to hit up the karaoke place? The new Love and Heroes song is out. Hmm. I'm not feeling up for it today. This story creeped me out earlier. Do you want to hear it? I can't really tell which girl's talking, though, so... Oh, sure. You remember Miss Yamaguchi? She wears those big glasses. I heard she's gone missing. What? No one knows where she... No one... What? No one knows where she is? Nope, she just disappeared. Just up and poof from the library. One of the student librarians said she was researching something there. But then she vanished. But she's super diligent, right? One of the students thought it was weird that she'd end up and leave like that. So he checked in on her. But when he did... Oh, do you, do you need a hand, buddy? I, I, I can help you out with that, I guess. You know, just don't take my hand. The only thing left was her arm. Or, her. Okay, never mind. It had her really weird... It had really weird scar it, so it was definitely her arm. Well, she's not going to give any handies anymore, that's for sure. A scar? Yeah, it looks like a dog bite. She showed it to me once. So she, she had no idea where it came from. Now she lost her arm, so... I assume these ladies aren't important because there's no name or, or pop-up to say, hey, this is girl A or girl B, so... For real? There was this girl like that on Mika's leg, too. Or Mikai's, or Miki's, or whatever. Huh? Miki? Wait, that's... I think I might be mixing up the girl's voices by this point. The girl went missing, yeah. That's crazy. I should just do the same voice. It's probably not that important. Maybe that rumor is true. And what about the cursed scar? Oh, the, the game is called Deathmark. Roll credits. Cut it out, you're scaring me. You can tell this game takes place in Japan, because, you know. Nothing wrong with that, just you can see the obvious signs. I hear snatches of an idiotic ghost story. They're speaking seriously. That's obviously they don't believe a word. They're only killing time. Rumors are the best way to do that. Maybe you should do it on auto. That might be easier to pay attention on that. I don't know. Sin's about the set. It's gotten later than I planned. Shouldn't have stuck around to hear that story. Bear hurry. Sounds like we've, got, we've hit maybe our titular main character here. Dot, dot, dot. Thunder rumbles in the distance. Oh good, a creepy house. A huge mansion is in front of me. 
All right, well, time to play Resident Evil or Maniac Mansion or... I know there's like a million other games that have a mansion and then I'm just... Whoa, what a mansion! <laughs> God, I kind of missed some Resident Evil. Oh, well, strange. I'm sure it was. I was just... My vision blurs. My ears are buzzing. Ugh, my head's swimming. It's almost like I'm drunk. Well, I mean, you know, it's 3 o'clock somewhere, right? What time is it? I glanced at my wrist, but my watch is gone. Ah, someone ganked my watch. He took my watch. Did I put it in my coat pocket? Mm -hmm. But all I find is a business card. An elegant printed letters is a name. Saya Kujo Spirit Healer. I think that's how it's pronounced. On the back is a photo of the mansion. I guess this must be Kujo Mansion then? I wonder if yellow text means I can check it for like um, either it's important or I know in some games you can sometimes highlight like uh, a unique dialogue and it'll give you like a, a small snippet of what it means or whatever but probably not. It's probably just saying hey this is important. Kujo Mansion. Saya Kujo. His name sounds familiar somehow. One way to find out. Taking a deep breath, I reach out to knock. I stop when I see something on my wrist. I'm going to see if I can press any buttons to get anything out of that. Right. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Uh, directional pads don't do anything. Pressing the analog sticks doesn't do anything. Square. Nope. Triangle hides it. Circle. I think circle just takes it to the next next uh, thing. It's a strange scar. When did that... I could just be imagining this, but I feel an icy chill when I look at it. It does look like a dog mark or something, or a dog bite or something like that, or an animal bite at least. Or just a really rad tattoo, dude. My fist pounds on the door. No reply. A light appears in a second floor window. It's probably too far from the door for them to hear me knocking. You'd be surprised if it's pretty empty, maybe, but... Or they're receptive to sound. I grasp the doorknob and find it unlocked. Dude, should you... You shouldn't really be walking to people's houses like that without someone actually, you know, letting you in. No point in staying outside. I'll just go in. I'll apologize to the owner later. <laughs> sure. That's how it works. Hopefully you don't do that in the middle of nowhere, like in middle, middle America, where someone you know, th has shotguns ready to go and say, get on my lawn! The inside is shrouded in darkness. A small beam of light from the window is the only way I can see anything in here. It's dead silent except for the constant ticking of a clock's second hand. I must be in the entrance hall. The atrium extends to the second floor. Anyone home? There's no reply to my shout. Maybe they've soundproofed this place so they can hear, can't hear me down here. Yeah, if you want to tell yourself that. I guess I need to go upstairs then. The staircase is just visible visible up ahead. You know, I almost thought about doing my standard, like, Japanese shonen protagonist voice. But one, I already did that, like, 120 plus episodes in the previous playthrough of, this game, uh, of, a, of another game previously. And two, I don't feel like the main character is a shonen, you know, young adult slash teenager character. So, um, and... Too, I just <laughs> I want to change it up quite a bit from the previous game because you know I want to flush that from my brain. I walk towards it, cutting across the hall. My ears scratch a catch a strange noise. Scratch <laughs> ears scratching. I turn to look where it's coming from. Well, that ain't creepy. I'm usually not. Usually the only things I'm really, like, creeped or scared out about is pretty much pure darkness, you know, the unknown and all that, but dolls do definitely have an interesting creepy factor element. Some, someone's there, enveloped by the dark. Or at least it looks like a doll, anyway. I think they're staring at me. Oh, here we go. We actually get the choice in the game. Uh, ignore them, talk to them, approach them. Is it going to be one of those types of VNs where the game's initially short but it has multiple different endings? That's what I'm almost feeling like here. Um... Well, in the obvious situation, you can... Let's talk to them. Hello? I call out, but the person remains silent. Oh. 
Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> obviously we should approach them, right? Gulping, I, I hesitantly make my way over, trepidation slowing my steps. Whoa. It's a young girl. She doesn't move an inch as I approach. At least it seems that way to me. It doesn't look like she's even breathing. Oh, good, she's dead. Oh, th well, there you go, a corpse. Great. I creep myself out. I start to sweat. What should I do? Uh, I'm not touching a dead body. Let's back away. I carefully begin climbing the stairs, making sure not to trip. Yeah, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get thrown in jail if like someone happens to like come to this house and check to see fingerprints on the dead body. As I reach the landing, or at least a doll or whatever, but as I reach the landing, the sharp sound of a bell breaks the silence. It seems to be coming from above me. Looking up, I can spy the outline of a clock. I bet that's what's making the sound. Approach it, ignore it, wait. I think I remember reading the, the, the synopsis for the game, uh, talking about how you got to explore things to solve the mystery of what's going on. So yeah, I feel like this might be a rather short game initially, just multiple playthroughs or something like that. I could be wrong, but... Um, well, let's see what happens if we just let it... Well, yeah, I might as well check it out, approach it. Approach the clock. The noise guides me over. It's an antique grandfather clock. The noise is definitely coming from here. I reach towards the glass to check inside. All of a sudden, it stops chiming. Silence descends, broken only by ticking. I guess it's fixed now, but... The timing was a little too spot on. Was it really a coincidence? All these strange occurrences make me uneasy, but I continue on to the room with the light. It's almost like we're just being, like, just, like, focusing on the light like a moth to a flame or something like that, even though all the signs tell us we should get out of here, but stopping in front of the door, I knock. But again, there's no reply. I try again, several times, even calling out, but there's still no answer. I push on the door. It's dark inside. Strange, I definitely saw lights on in here when I was outside. Wafting through the room is an odd smell. Uh-oh. It's sugary like a ripe fruit. The whole room is permeated with it. Some kind of aromatherapy, maybe? It's not a particularly pleasant smell, though. The aroma draws me further into the room. Hmm. The forearm on my feet feels off. It's wet. Cold. Lecherous. It's Colin! No. No one's going to get that reference at all. It dawns on me that I'm smelling something else mixed in with the sweet smell. I know this scent. This metallic, metallic tang. Yeah. Got a seizure warning, dudes. Lightning flashes and I catch a glimpse of something. A startling, grotesque object stretches out across the floor beneath my feet. Something strange is there. Stared at uh I'm not I'm not liking this. Look away. I try to tear my eyes away, but Oh god. It's so bizarre that I can't stop staring. This kinda reminds me of like a like the way it looks kinda reminds me of like mollusks or fungus or some of that. Kinda gives me kind of a call of Cthulhu type of feel. Blooming flowers are everywhere. They're bursting out of the woman's stomach, her blood soaked body overwhelmed with them. And why are we staying here after seeing this? I wrench my gaze away, horrified. But the hellish image is burned in my mind. I can feel my entire body shaking. Bile rises. I'm going to throw up. Oh 
good. A little girl laughed. That's not a bad sign. Oh, by the way, I'm actually playing this game at night with like the lights off and everything like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make this as like atmospheric for myself as possible. Although people can watch this whenever they want, but we'll see what happens. In the next instance, the lights are on. Oh, by the way, from like uh, taken from because it sounds like this might be just a visual novel again, two games in a row. What are the odds of that? Actually, technically, I had some games before this, but uh, both of them were not re really recordable, optional, uh, possibly recordable. So. Um, I think I'm just going to increase these episodes to 30 minutes on like the 22 that I did before because just because of talking and getting through it will take longer and you know I don't want it to be another like 130 episodes or whatever so although I doubt it with this game but in the next instant the lights are on wait that's not all the body is gone leaving only a stain are you sure we shouldn't just leave now I mean why are we even here just because some letters, just because some watery tart through a scimitar, I mean, just mean, it means I'm not king. Oh, wait. This doesn't make sense. It's a bad dream. At least I'd really much prefer if it was. But the faint smell that remains and the bloodstained crush, any hope of that, or I had of that. I beat a retreat from the room in an effort to escape this whole bizarre situation. Yeah, this really does remind me of the Resident Evil Mansion, just the way that these stairs right here are set up. Although these could be based off, like, a, you know, people could be using references from the game or maybe other famous mansions or whatever. It's not like this is the... I mean, there are mansions designed like this before. Not that I've really been in one, but I've seen pictures of them. But anyway, when I stumble back into the hall, the lights are on in, on in here as well. I decide to have another look around. All the furnishings in here are old enough to be antiques. They match this old-fashioned mansion. Where are you going to expect? Oh, God! A large doll sits on the couch. This must be the figure I saw in the dark. One would easily mistake this for a human if they couldn't see the ball joints. Probably belongs to the owner of the mansion. Not that I wonder if he's compensating for something. Or she. So what do I do now? Contact the police? Her stomach was full of flowers, sir, and the corpse up and vanished like fog. I can't even believe that. True. Welcome to Cujo Mansion. Duh! Did you just talk? Dude, I'm totally freaking out right now. The doll moved. It spoke. A different, ki a different kind of shudder runs through me than uh, the one when I found the corpse. Up until this point, I was there was nothing more than observer at all this these freaky events. I could distance myself from it, but now a doll is talking to me. Have have I started you? If so, I sincerely apologize. My master ordered me to behave as a normal doll until until told otherwise. Your master, huh? The words are elegant and refined, but her face never moves an inch. She may look human, but she clearly isn't. Huh, her design slightly changed. I wonder if it was a different artist. No. She slowly folds her hands together. So she can move too. I wonder if she moves creepily like those old like uh animatronics from like back in the nineties or eighties, you know, like from like whatever that pizza place was called before like Showtime Pizza, I think it was, before Chuck E. Cheese's or uh or some old animatronics from my Disneyland. Ooh, those things were creepy. Or Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Is that still a thing? Anyway. I, I'm sorry for not introducing myself. Should I do the robot voice again? It said it was elegant, so maybe like a... Eh, whatever. I am called Mary. You have likely seen a number of oddities here already. I see my master, Saya Kujo, was unable to escape from the mark then. The mark? Saya Kujo, does she mean that corpse? But wait, what's this about a mark? Oh good, we've been cursed. At least that's what it seems like if we've got it too. Lady Saya was searching for a way to escape the mark. Were you not also called here by her because of the mark on your arm? Oh yeah, we do have that. As I said earlier. Are those hands in the background of this, the scene? Yeah, it is. They are hands. That's not creepy. She must be talking about this weird scar. Did Sai Kujo invite me to this mansion? 
When I try to remember, my head hurts. I have something to tell you in place of my late master. But I would like to ask one thing first. Do you know your own name? Well, that was a much simpler question than I had been expecting. It's... Dot, dot, dot. I break out into a sweat. My throat is drying up. <laughs> what? Why? Why can't I answer? I'm shocked to find I'm coming up blank. At least this game has had less proofreading errors than the previous game. Meesh. Yeah, I haven't noticed it yet, so maybe they actually got a good proofreader for this game. Maybe because it's shorter. Um, I see. Then it is as I thought. Somehow Mary knows what's going on with me. Like all women, am I right? No. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, before I offer an explanation, please decide on a temporary name. Things will go much easier if I have a name by which to call you. It is also likely you will find it hard to remain calm if you are nameless. Cool. She's probably right. Better to have some placeholder name than to continue your life as a hollow, nameless being. And yeah, we've all been there. We've lived in New York one way or another. And the protagonist's last name, up to ten letters. Oh, well, well, oh, I guess I could stick with the, uh, with the, the basic one, but we'll do with the... Actually, do I even have the... Uh, oops. I'm trying to remember if uh, if it's this one or this one. I'll do this one. We'll do Adderdag. It's a... Uh, that's where I got the name for uh, my, uh, my uh, screen name or whatever. It's from... I think it's a Swedish noble, I think it is. It's Voldemort Adderdag or Adderdag or Dig or however that's pronounced. I think it uses that, that symbol on there, but... Uh, I might just say dag just to be easier on me, even though that's not how it's pronounced because it's Swedish. Wait, that's an unusable letter? Oh, fine. I'll just do at her dag then. Fine. So you, you give me the option to use the, the different letter spellings or whatever, but you don't let me use it. Whatever. The first name. Well, we know obviously what I'm going to use there. Whoops. So... There he is, the game, the the PS3, or PS4 is, remembers it. It's remembering things, oh god, creepy. Voldemort Adderdag, okay. Well, hopefully, actually, uh, hopefully there's not a guy in the real world named that either, so that way I'm not, you know, I mean, there probably is, but, you know, hopefully he doesn't come across this and go, hey, does it matter what we look like? I mean, if it's mainly a VN, it shouldn't matter, so. Well, let's look... Uh, well, none of these really look like... Let's go with the closest that looks like me, because I do have glasses and a beard. I don't. I haven't always had a beard, but I changed my how I look every once in a while. But, yeah, we'll just glasses and a beard. Cannot be changed. Oh, God. That's... Oh, God. Do, do I stick with... Yeah, I'm going to stick. It's not that big of a deal. Does it turn from a first-person, like, uh, um, VN to a third-person at some point? I guess. I don't know. I'm Voldemort Adderdag. Understood, Lord Adderdag. Now I shall explain to you about the mark. Hmm? You know about it? It is the seal of death. death. Whoa. Being a bit uh, melodramatic, aren't you? Those who have it will soon die. What, you mean like, uh... Trying to think of, like, other types of curses, like, uh... Eh, I'm, I'll probably remember later. You do not believe me. I am certain this sounds absurd to one who has led an uneventful life. Hey now, eating Cheetos and playing video games is not uneventful. However, my master's death proves it to be irrefutably true. So that, is that what's going to happen to me? Flowers are going to burst out of me in a glorious bouquet of blood? The corpse's sweet stench comes back to me. That didn't seem like the work of humans. Seems like the the effect of a cult or something like that, or some magic or something like that. I am afraid that the horrors of the mark do not stop there. Victims slowly lose their memories until the day they die. They face death all the while suffering from the terror of losing oneself. Now that's actually one terror I do. Well, I don't know if I call it a terror, but that is one of the things I do fear is the losing of oneself, you know. Uh, mental, 
mental damage, loss, a uh, amnesia, um, Alzheimer's, you name it. Memory loss? That can't be. That means that I'm... Yes. The fact that you have forgotten your name proves that death is coming. Well, I mean... I mean, if we're... Uh, hopefully it's maybe the, uh, the, uh... Discworld version of death, because, you know, that means we're, we're wizards, and he seems to be a pretty cool guy from when I read him in the books. Or after deck, you... Don't... Yeah, stop with the shiny already. We'll die this very day. Roll credits. So we've got a day to solve this mystery or, or prevent the curse, otherwise we die. Oh, good. My memory skipped forward a bit after that. I just remember being completely stunned at what Mary revealed to me. I could probably attribute it to the to memory loss caused by the mark. Man, we're kind of believing that all this stuff just be just just because we're not even like really questioning it. But the next thing I know, I'm lying in a guest room in the mansion. I vaguely recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. I must have fallen asleep at some point, and thanks to that, I feel a lot better. I'll die at dawn, huh? I try saying it out loud. It's definitely shocking, but I can't say it feels real yet. It doesn't make sense. Way out of the blue. But if it's true, is waiting for my untimely death the only thing I can do? Mm. It might be a good idea to ask Mary more about it. Yeah, I gotta get started somewhere, right? Obviously, we were led to this mansion for a reason. I find Mary sitting in the exact same spot as before. She hasn't moved an inch. Well, that ain't creepy. I doubt a doll gets bored waiting like humans do. Good morning, Lord Atterdag. Are you feeling better now? Uh, yeah, sort of. Yeah, I feel terrible. That is only natural, of course. Since it appeared that you have calmed down, I would like to ask a question. What will you do now? I can guide you down only two paths. Oh, only two ways to play this game? Well, I guess that's, that's better than nothing. The first is to wait for death. The second is to fight the mark. Can you help me? If that is what you wish, yes. My master was researching the mark. A few days prior to her death, she found, it, found a way to escape it. Oh, really? Regretfully, she passed away before she was able to inform me. Oh, well, that's not ironic. So she doesn't know anything after all. There is some time yet before dawn. You have a slim chance. Salvation is a thin thread dangling from heaven. Okay, stop with the melodramatics. It's only me dying from a curse now. With that, with that you would grab hold of it, I shall do my utmost to help. What will you do? Hmm. It's all up to me, I guess. I guess it boils down to whether I trust her. If she's right about all this, my time on Earth is up at dawn. If I don't want to die, then there's no other choice but to resist the mark until then. If she's lying, I'll be fine when morning comes. But am I really all right with that? <laughs> People are being killed in nonsensical, grotesque ways. Oh yeah, I guess those ladies' stories that they told of what happened to someone. Although, they... She got her hand cut off, so maybe people die in different ways with, from this mark? Am I going to turn a blind eye to it? I don't know, with the way the main character looks, I feel like he's actually a detective or something like that. This is a life or death decision. I need to think about it carefully. <laughs> oh, are we playing Radiant Historia now? Live? Or live or die? Deadly choice. You will be faced with choices that can result in death. There's a limited time and your soul power will continue to drain. Time's up or wrong answer will result in the game over. So be quick, but uh, also careful in finding the right answer. Restoring soul power. Completing a deadly choice will restore some soul power. Accelerated dialogue. Dialogue will be sped up while pressing L1. But certain dialogue cannot be sped up. Oh, so that's if we need to read, like if we lose or die, we can get back to that same point rather quickly. Backlog. The option button will display previous dialogue. Oh, now we get the games like control setting. Auto mode. Oh, well, I knew that one from the main thing. The R1 button will activate auto mode. Cool. 
Hiding the dialog window, well that's triangle. You can hide the dialog button window by pressing the triangle button. Neat. Then I shall ask you, will you quietly wait for death or struggle against the mark? Well, since we're at the end of the episode anyway. And how do we, okay. Well, since we're at the end of the episode, why not end it with a bad ending? Wait for death. Wow, that does, that does not take... Yeah, obviously it's wrong. <laughs> then you meekly accept your death by the mark? We get another choice? Uh, okay. Well, we know what the wrong answer is. I'm just doing it for fun. Accept death! Because I'm an idiot. Wrong! Play that scene from... What was that one where we said? Oh, from Superman Returns. Wrong! Is that so? Then please rest here in the mansion until dawn. Well, obviously, you know, waiting here is the wrong answer because. Oh, yes, Good night, nothing. sweet prince. Game over. That's it? There's no, like, scene of us, uh, you know, uh, um, like, finding out what happens when we die? We just die? That seems kind of boring. Oh, well. Well, anyway, it looks like we got a VN with uh, certain choices they can only make. Will we end up making the right choice next time in another reality where we decide not to act like an idiot? Find out next time on the next episode of Death Mark. Not, not Death, not like Death Note or anything like that. Not, not as interesting as that, but we'll find out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.